Okay, I just wanted to answer a person's question. Uh, Philip Gunter asked me how to um, how I made the speed lines um, on my thumbnail for the last video. Uh, just this uh, colored blur of my character. And unfortunately, I did that in Photoshop. I didn't think there was a way to do that in Anime Studio. But I might have a solution for that. But to do this for a still image, um, I just put a background behind him so you can see. Uh, let's make it darker. Okay, so I just took my character and I just have a PNG image of him cut out. And I'm just going to duplicate the layer. And under filter, go to blur, motion blur. And it's already set at an angle of zero, which is sideways. And I'll hit OK. And then I just keep duplicating. I'm holding Option down and just dragging the layer a little bit. And that actually creates a duplicate or duplication of the layer. Hold Shift down, select two more layers and just duplicate it quite a few times like that and then selecting holding shift down and selecting all of those layers and hitting command E that flattens it and if I do command F it will do the filter again so it kind of blurs it even more and then I just move the uh, blur over and that's it pretty much for the uh, the blur on, on a still image you can also put that blur on top of the character you can change the blending mode just like in Anime Studio and add is called Linear Dodge which is pretty cool looking so yeah you can do all kinds of uh, cool stuff in uh, Photoshop to your images but if you're wanting to do this in Anime Studio I think um, I have my character here I just made a new run cycle <laughs> the one at the beginning of the uh, last tutorial was really hot garbage. I wasn't really trying very hard and it looks really bad, but I'm redeeming myself with this one somewhat. So this looks a little better. So here's a run cycle of my character and I'm going to, within my uh, character uh, under the uh, bone layer, create a new vector on frame zero and I'm just going to call this motion blur. And I'll go ahead and put this on the bottom. I'll use the uh, uh, draw shape tool. Use a uh, rectangle and just draw right behind my character. I'll just draw it out to here. I'm going to hit A and just add some points. So I'll add one here, 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 kind of um, where the bones are. I think I'm going to. Um, connect these to the bones. So we've got that there. And now we need to hit Q and select our shape and we're going to add a gradient. And it's going to be just like in the last tutorial where I created a blur of the background. This time we're doing a blur of the, the uh, character. So we'll select under effect, go to gradient and hit OK. Left click and drag the red circle to the bottom and then left click and drag the uh, empty circle to the top and then next to the gradient hit this button that'll bring up the gradient window and with the white selected we'll grab the eyedropper hold the left mouse button and then release on his shoe that turns that red then to add another color we'll just click on the bar left click and drag the eyedropper again and add yellow and you can adjust it so it's close to a shoe. Same thing again. This is for his pants. So we'll click there. Left click and drag, release. And you can you can just adjust and do a shirt. And we want to make another kind of pants color, so we'll click right next to the pants color and just drag it up and adjust it so it kind of matches up to his body like that. Maybe make yellow right in the center for a second, like that. Add another color, left click and drag over his skin, adjust that. Oops, if you make a color you don't want, just select it and hit delete. Move that. And I think that looks pretty good. Uh, it matches his uh, color pretty well. 
might even want to put uh, because his arms are right there just put um, a little bit of his arm color right there maybe even replace the red right there and that looks pretty good so we'll hit OK and then with the uh, we have there's a new tool right here called the color points tool I'm gonna hit G and I'm gonna select the endpoints over here of the box we made and then with the uh, color points tool we're gonna click on the fill here and make them transparent and we're also going to hit Q make sure the strokes uh, deselected so we'll just uncheck that then I'll render it out it can you, you can see now that we have a blur and it also fades those points that we just selected here so and actually let's make the motion blur on top of him so we'll put it at the very top layer and double click and we'll select add and apply and see what that looks like that's pretty cool it makes kind of a highlight over his body uh, but we don't want it to be that sharp so we'll double click on the motion blur we'll do the blur radius we'll do like five and then let's change the opacity down to 80 and hit OK doesn't look like it did anything but when we render now he's got a softer edge around here and the uh, blur is actually a little bit more transparent but that still looks a little too harsh so let's double click in here let's make the blur radius 11 let's see what that looks like yeah that's pretty good um, hmm. well since it is a blur let's just let's go go for it make it like I don't know 40 just to see what it looks like that looks better I like that a lot now it, lo it looks more like um, just he's glowing on that side so <clears throat> now let's um, I'm gonna move it to the bottom just real quick because I want to uh, uh, connect these points to bones so I'm gonna hit G I'm gonna grab these two points here and you can see the foot bones already selected but you just hit B and it'll highlight that um, bone in the foot so I'm gonna G select them both the bone selected and we'll bind points to that and then we'll select this point hit G select it hit B select this bone oops there we go the bone and the point are selected and we'll bind those uh, B G that point is going to be bound to that bone and then I'm going to select that hit G bind that point B G bind point I'm just doing this so the mask kind of moves with or not the mask it's just the blur um, so it moves with um, the character and then B G and I'll just both of those points I'll bind to that now let me see okay that looks pretty good it's bound to this foot so the um, it's transforming good there oh but this this point right here isn't bound so let's hit G hold shift down make sure you have both those points selected and then bind them and I think that should yeah now it's connected to his his head and let's move that point up a little bit so it's always an issue so on frame zero hit T and just grab that point and pull it up and actually you know what let's go ahead and move this point down into his head move this down slightly 
And on these endpoints, I'm going to, I, I hit B, selected this bone, and you can see those two points are still bound. But I also want to bind this point too. So I'm holding Shift down, clicking on that. So all three of these points are connected, and then I'll bind that. That way it just moves up with his foot as well. So do the same with the uh, top bone. This one, this bone is connected to these two points. Hit G, hold shift down and select this point too. So there's all three selected and bind that one as well. So, oops. Okay, that's good. But now, now these points are moving all over the place. I don't, let's see. Okay, go to frame one. Let's see if this fixes it. I'm gonna grab this point at frame one and this one at frame one also and see. This one's okay because it's kind of staying parallel. This one is not because it's connected to this bone and this bone is changing its angle quite a bit, I think. So, how about we do this? Instead of this foot bone, because the, the uh, target bone is actually an independent kind of bone, I think maybe it'll keep it straight. So let's try that. We're gonna hit B, select the target bone that I made, hit G, and we'll select those three points and bind those instead, instead of binding it to the foot bone. And let's move that like that. That's that's much better. It's at least staying parallel to uh, the character in the foot. So I think I like that much better. So. I think that looks pretty good. We'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and um, render this out and see how it looks.